What's up, my people? Detroit Jeep in the house again with another video, and this time it's going to be of an issue that I had. I had a code light come on. I was driving yesterday, approximately about an hour, 20 minute drive, and my check engine light came on. So I pulled over to Advance Auto, had them give me the uh, code reader, plugged it into my Jeep, and the code that I got was the and get it here for you was the hold on the p0441 it said as a matter of fact you know what how can i get this here let me try to turn this around for you so you can look at it oh, how do i do this guess i can't Now right, here's the code that I was getting, the P0441, Evaporated Emission Systems Incorrect Purge Flow. So when I went and Googled online, I saw that a lot of people had the same issue with the 97 to 2002 Jeep. And what it comes up and says, sorry about the light, is that it's the canister. That the canister gets clogged up. It uh, has charcoal in here, it starts spitting, spitting it out. This one here goes into the engine, it goes, some of the charcoal goes in the engine. Some say it's a solenoid here because this is all connected with the solenoid. So I went ahead, went online and tried to purchase the items. You can't find it anymore. You can find the solenoid, but you can't find the canister anymore. But the good thing about YouTube, you have one individual and a couple forms that says the same thing. If you go online to AutoZone, no, I'm not being sponsored by them. But if you go to AutoZone, there is a substitute one that says will not fit your Jeep, but everybody says works. Check engine light never comes back on. It looks identical. So what have we got to lose? The good thing about AutoZone, it's a little bit better than Amazon. Literally, I went online, it said next day delivery, and I just got it in the mail. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing here. And let's see what we got. Also, flash shine. Those of you that are from Puerto Rico uh, know what flash shine is. And Blue Shark, right over here. I'm going to be making a, pro, uh, a video of it. If you're interested, let me know. I can hook you up with the products. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. This is what we're here for. Okay. If you go online, look for Doralas VC120. That's going to be the vapor canister that's going to fit on your Jeep. Do not listen to what it says on the website in AutoZone.com. It's going to say it does not fit your Jeep. This part will fit on your Jeep. You got to do one little adjustment and I'll show you what you need to do. Here's the solenoid part. Uh, it's a 911-213 evaporator valve. I went ahead and purchased both of these um, so I can knock it out. They're not expensive. You can do it yourself. And this is supposed to solve the issue. I took out the Jeep today. I drove, I don't know, about 40 miles today. Being that it's Veterans Day, when to get my free food and uh, check engine light was on the whole time but here's the solenoid it seems pretty sturdy seems pretty nice um, here's the one hand Oops. I don't want to cut myself some ways prone I'm cutting myself Here's what it looks like. Okay, here's the canister. Oops, I'm sorry. Nope, here we go. It's a canister. Um, looks a little different, but it's the same thing. If you notice, one side says tank, and the other one says purge, it's upside down. But this is how you're going to put it. 
right here, same thing. Just gonna lay it in there, put the hose in, I'll show you. Now what I was talking about there, we're gonna have to cut, do a little thing here. You see this little piece of metal here? It's to hold this bracket in. We're gonna have to cut it off because you see in here there's a lip, which it's not gonna fall in. But I'll show you how to do that. All right, the first thing we want to do here is disconnect the hoses. So this one goes to the engine. You just want to twist it, pull it right out, put it somewhere here where you'll find it. This one goes to the solenoid. Pull that out, put it somewhere. As far as I know, there's no other hoses. Now we got to get a 5 16th and loosen it up here. Let me get over here. Hold on. Dirt in my pants with this, uh, the tires. I'll loosen it up so we can get the canister out. Sorry about that. Oh. One day I'll become a YouTube millionaire and be able to have a shop with all the right tools. But for now, I do what I can do to make these videos for you so you can learn just the same way I learned. So you can see, you see this little lip here? That's what I was talking about. This is going to get cut off because we're not going to need that anymore. I think on the bottom here is probably another, yeah, there's another lip. So basically we have to take off the whole screw. I'll just open it as much as we can so we can get it out. Just to make it easier, take the whole screw out, open it up, and pull right out. You see here, there's a lip on the bottom to hold it and a lip on top. We're not going to need this. I'll show you what we're going to do. Alright, I need to show you guys something. See this stuff here? That's the charcoal. Here's the old one, right? Check this out. See that? Just comes out? That's not supposed to happen. Here's the new one. You don't hear anything. Can you hear that? It's all loose inside. All that gets into the engine. That makes the engine start misfiring, starts making the engine run like shit, and the check engine light comes on. VC120, don't forget, this is what you need if you're having that issue. If your Jeep is stalling, your idle is a little rough, but you need to change it. Okay, like I was saying, this little lip here, see it? Now the light's a little dim here, but I don't, if you got something, you could cut it off. Make it a little bit nicer and go ahead. Like I said, I don't have the tools. I'm just gonna take a pair of ice grips, put it on here, and bend it out. And why I'm doing this, so it doesn't, when I tighten down the can, it doesn't cut into my can and make a mess with the other, you know, with the charcoal that's inside. Just wanna bring it down as much as I can. The neat, the sloppy jobs, sloppy jews. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the new canister, slide it right in. Sure, rests against the bottom one. It's not touching here. And we're gonna go ahead and put this back. Turn this back the way it was.
All right, just finish uh, putting this on. It's nice and tight. Next I want to do here is remove the solenoid. As you can see here, it just pulls up. It's got two hoses and a computer wire to it. Let's see if I can do this without blinding everybody. Pull this clip up and pull it straight out without ripping any wires. There you go. I take these two hoses out. They're both connected, so hopefully they don't break as they come out. Okay, I was able to pull off the two hoses. You see them right here. Here's the old one. <laughs> Sorry, my mustache. That's bugging me. Ooh, just stepped on the charcoal. Yeah. Okay, so. Here's the new one. Here's the old one. Let's do it on the floor. That's the old one. This is the new one. As you can see. Ta da! They're a little different. The way you probably put it on. But. They're the same. Oh, I see what the difference is. Hold on, so I can fix this. If you notice this and this here, this is just an extra piece. See it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off here. There we go. I'm going to put it here. Am I doing it the right way? Yep. Ta -da. So now I have the new one. So what I want to do is go back to the Jeep and oh yeah, what I did was yeah, believe it or not, I blew into the hose, came out this way, it's clear. I blew into this one. This one goes into the manifold. I was able to blow her in, no problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect them back together. Nice tight fit. That's what she said. Uh, no vacuum leaks as far as I know. And then this goes right there. Just like that. And you take the plug and plug it in. Oh, we're done with that part. Now, at the hoses. Are going to be the same thing like i said oh i wish i had a flashlight on this thing i have to look at my camera if you look here let me zoom in for you guys all right hold on i'm playing with this i got a new phone here and uh Trying to get it to zoom, but it's kind of weird. I gotta figure it out. Okay, anyway, I don't know if you can see. It says purge. It's upside down. Here's his tank. So this one most likely is gonna go here. But as you can see, it's kind of big, and I heard, I knew that was gonna happen. They said that on YouTube also. This one literally fits right in. This is gonna be big. What some people did was they took a. a tie rod, uh, whatever else you want to call it. I don't like doing that. Um, you know me. So I'm going to go and see if I can find a smaller diameter hose that can fit on here. So if you give me a second, let me check my toolbox. Sometimes I do have this stuff. Sometimes I don't. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm in the Jeep. You can see I got my flag up. Veterans Day. Uh, reason I'm in the Jeep, I gotta go to AutoZone, as usual. Like I said, I don't have a lot of parts, don't have a lot of tools, so... The hose, that one hose, you gotta get a, either a clamp for it. I, I really don't want to put a clamp, so... Let me see if I can find a hose. 
it'll fit. If it don't, then I'll put a clamp. See what I mean? The check engine light is on. But right, that's supposed to get it done, close it out once I get finished. Beautiful day. It is. Last little house. Sun's down. It is only 5.56. And it's already dark out. to be able to help me out. Never had a problem with AutoZone. They always felt very helpful. But you know what? I started the Jeep up and I don't know if it's me or not, but it felt smooth. Not the rough the way that we started up. Maybe it's me, but I don't think so. I made it to AutoZone. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this is what I went and got. I got the hose clamps, or the smallest ones that'll fit. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on when I get to the house. But you wanna hear a funny story? I took the hose out, went in there, was speaking to the kid about maybe getting a smaller hose on one end, bigger on another. He didn't have anything. So I purchased the hose clamps. When I went back, when I went back to the to the Jeep, I said, you know what? One size looks smaller than the other anyway. So I decided to turn it around and put the bigger end where the top piece was and the little end on the bottom. And it fit right in. No problem, wasn't loose. Now I feel like a dumbass. But anyway, just to be secure, because you know me, be on a safe side. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a clamp on it anyway. Now you want to hear a funny story? See this, this piece right here in the sidewalk? Yeah, right out here. When I was pulling in, I forgot my damn socket set on the bumper. All the way from the house to here. And guess what happened? As soon as I took the turn to go into AutoZone, black all I hear is splash. Fucking socket set it, all over the, uh, the road. I had to park the Jeep use the headlights get out and pick up all the, the sockets off the road I don't know if I got them all it's dark outside I was using my headlights to try to see but um lesson learned when you work on your Jeep I'll put the fucking tools on a bumper excuse my French put it somewhere else why because you're gonna take off to test drive and you're gonna do what I did you're gonna lose things you know, flashlights, um, speaking of flashlights, I hope I didn't have my flashlight on there. But you're gonna lose items. You don't wanna do that, because stuff costs money. So, now I gotta go home and count my sockets and see if I have them all. If not, I might have to go buy another socket set. But, anyway, let me get to the house. All right, now that I'm back at the house, you see, I really doesn't need it. Ugh. But I'm gonna put it on anyway. Why? Because I'm me. And you know how me is. Little anal. You open this up a little bit. Put it right there. Right there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, make sure it's in all the way. A little turns on here. And we screwdriver and good are good to go. Let's see.
And it's not coming out. All right. So that's it. That's the installation right there. Solenoid, vapor canister, pick it up at AutoZone. Um, now I'm going to go inside, turn on the Jeep, and turn off my check engine light. I can't do it with you on the phone because my OBD2 sensor is part of my phone hooked onto my car. If uh, you're interested in where I purchase these items, even the OBD2 sensor, um, let me know and I'll put it on my link. That way, if you want to order one, it's right down there, that red light you see. Let me pull it out here so you can see. See this piece right here? Um, where is the writing on this thing? Okay, here we go. Sorry for the light, but she says, let me try to zoom it in. Okay, Elm 327 interface mini support OBD2 sensor protocols. I bought this on eBay a long time ago. Works awesome. You can get an upgrade. Uh, you pay like a yearly subscription for like 20 bucks if you want. You don't have to. I've never did. I just use it this way. Um, download the app and everything will work the way it's supposed to. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see the check engine light is on. Let me close this door. Okay, check engine light is on. And like I said, let me log off here. I'll be right back so you can see the check engine is off. I'm going to go ahead and reset it. All right, as you can see, the check engine light is off. It. So when I turn the key on, see check engine light right here. You see it goes off. Oh, right there. What else? Is so if you want to find out if this really works, if it solved the issue, ask me down the road whenever you see this video, and I will give you an update and tell you if it's worth it or not. But like I said, it's better than going to the mechanic. If you get the OP0441 code on your Jeep, 1997-2002, this is what your issue is. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, ask any questions, hit me up. Send so other people can look, review, and like. There'll be other videos coming up pretty soon. There'll be more upgrades. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe.